Are you wondering what a nipple shield is or how to use a nipple shield or if you need to use a nipple shield? Um, this video, in this video, I'm going to cover everything you need to know about a nipple shield. I'm going to cover what it is, when to use it, how to put it on, how to um, care and clean a nipple shield, and how to wean your baby off a nipple shield. Also, at the end, I'll be covering um, tips on how to use um, your nipple shield. So stay tuned and let's begin. Hi, welcome back. My name is Jeanes. I'm an international board certified lactation consultant, a registered nurse, and the founder of Prenatal Genie. I post breastfeeding tips on this channel, so feel free to look around the channel for more helpful videos. Also in the description box below, there are links to free resources, um, recommendations, and if you want to book a consult with me. Um, so let's begin. What is a nipple shield? A nipple shield is a piece of silicone. It, it looks like this. It comes in different sizes. It is used as a breastfeeding tool. It is used um, temporarily as a bridge to better feeding. Okay, um, so when do you use a nipple shield? You use a nipple shield and if, if there are latching difficulties, either because baby's oral or tongue function is not optimal or because of mom um, breast anatomy, okay? A nipple shield is also used to transition premature babies from bottle to breast. A nipple shield could save a breastfeeding relationship. So um, I don't rec you know I don't recommend a lot of people they put these in their baby registry. I don't recommend that. Many hospitals have these in in stock. So if a lactation consultant recommends you use a nipple shield in the hospital, they will have one um, to, to give you. So you don't need to buy this before having baby. A nipple shield is to be used under the guidance of a lactation consultant. That's very important, okay? So how to put on a nipple shield? So what you wanna do is this area here, this cutout, is it's gonna go where baby's nose is and that is so baby could smell the breastfeeding or ch or chest feeding parent okay very important so baby could have some skin contact with um the parent and then the way you're going to put it on is you're going to press in put it over your nipple and then flip it back press in put it over the nipple and flip it back. And then this is gonna stick to your skin, okay? This space that you see in between the nipple and the tip of the nipple shield is okay. We want that because as baby starts suckling, the, your nipple is gonna elongate. So that space is to accommodate that, okay? And then, let's see what else? So that's how you put it on. Let's say you're helping someone to put on a nipple shield. Then you're gonna face it towards you and you're gonna use your thumb. You're gonna press in to flip it inside out, place it over the nipple and then flip it back. All right? So you wanna make sure you flip it back. You, I'm sorry, you um, flip it inside out place it over the nipple and then flip it back because we want that close contact. We want that close fit, all right? We just don't want to just put it over the nipple, okay? We need to flip it back um, inside out and then put it over the nipple. So that's how you put on a nipple shield. So next, how to clean and care for your nipple shield. So you want to clean your nipple shield after every use, okay? So it is reusable. It is meant for one user, but you could reuse it. And you want to rinse it in cool water to get all the breast milk residue off and then in warm soapy water, okay? And you want to sterilize it once a day. You could use the 
you could use the Medela um, steam bags or you could sterilize in boiling water for 10 minutes okay and then you want to leave it um, out to air dry all right don't store it wet just let it air dry first so we want to wean baby off after a few weeks and the way you want to do it is you could you have a few options you could start breastfeeding using the nipple shield right once your milk lets down you could take off the nipple remove the nipple shield and latch baby onto the breast because there's flow of milk already there and baby might be able to latch okay if that doesn't work you put back the nipple shield remember we want to keep this area happy we don't want to stress baby at the breast so every feeding you could um, remove it after your letdown and see a baby latches or you could start breastfeeding without the nipple shield and see a baby latches on okay um, you could you could start breastfeeding with the nipple shield and when you're about to switch size just offer baby that the breast without the shield so it's different different ways you could do it um, I do want you to remember that we don't want to stress baby um, during the transition you start with a nipple shield and then you remove it you know and if baby latches on fine if not just put it back on all right or you could start without the nipple shield if baby just latches on and when starts breastfeeding then even better so now i want to cover a few tips when using a nipple shield the first thing I want to cover is when to replace your nipple shield. If you feel your nipple shield has stretched, has stretched too much um, and not staying on the same way, um, you might want to replace it. Or if you feel that it has ribs um, or cracks or anything, then it might be a good idea to replace it at that time. If you feel it's not sticking well, then you could either wet the edges and see if that helps it stick better okay while using a nipple shield we want to make sure that latching technique is optimal we want to make sure that that baby chin is pressing on mom's breast okay we want to make sure that baby is taking the whole tip of the nipple shield okay so baby could really stimulate mom's um mom's milk production all right so we don't want baby here on the tip because baby is not getting anything at that point okay we want to make sure baby is taking everything the whole nipple shield and mom should be feeling pulling and tugging um, another thing while using the nipple shield it is recommended to pump um, to secure to protect your milk supply because you know this is a barrier so we want to make sure that mom's milk supply does not suffer all right um, so I feel those are my tips for now I'll leave your questions in the comment area comment section below and if you found it helpful if you found it valuable um, give the video a like and share it with anyone that could benefit from it also, feel free to subscribe to the channel for more tips and I'll see you in the next video.